we're going to access a camera through a web browser and take a snapshot using HTML and JavaScript. Let's go. Okay, here's some more stuff I was working on with camera usage. And then this, I'm doing it in a browser with HTML5 and JavaScript. So right here is the browser, right? And I have this little capture button. And what I'll be able to do is, bam, right? Show a picture. Basically take a snapshot inside the browser. So I wanted to um, make sure that before I got deep into it, you know, I could share a little about how I do it. So make sure you subscribe to this channel as always, because I'm going to be doing all sorts of updates like this. All right. So starting off, we'll start off with this HTML. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do. It's the basic stuff up front, right? My doc type html okay real simple stuff and i actually have three screens here so <laughs> that's probably why you see me looking all around okay you know you probably don't need this for a basic tutorial but this is just some things that I do every time I start a new site or a page, right? Whoops. Oh, I could just make this smaller. Because I'm actually screen recording at the same time. As you can see. Device width. So we're going to get this basic website up. This is for my mobile first approach. But um, because later on I'm going to be using Bootstrap. To do a lot of the, um, the styling. Ah, I can't type today either. Mm, I guess that's all I need in the head. Then I can start on the body. Okay. Make sure you save. I guess I can look here and talk to you as well. I don't have to always look here. All right. So... First thing I'll do, I'll put a div in here. Mm, I'll give it an ID of this, um, which is my camera. So I'm creating this right here. Okay. Get inside of there. I'll put another div. Uh, well, I don't see why not. Get inside of there. I'll put a video. I'll call it player. And just so that I can have them next to each other. I'll do inline block, right? Because my image is going to be here as well. Don't forget to close your tags. And I hope all of this works out right. So then all I'm going to do is have an image that I'm going to put out to when I click capture. And you can see right now I'm not using an external style sheet, but I'm going to use an external um, JavaScript file when I get ready to do that. So this div close, this div is closing. Okay, then outside of here, I'll put me another div. So how this is going to work is, right, I'm going to have my button. I'm 
We'll give that an ID capture. And I want it to say capture. I don't have to do this, it's kind of repetitive, but I'll create a canvas because this is what's going to capture the video. Then it'll be put out as an image in the IMG tag. And if I spell canvas right, this may work better. And I'm just going to hide this. You can display this and have it actually show up in the canvas, but I'm not going to do that this time. And then what I'll do is, of course, I'm going to load my script that I have in my scripts folder real quick. We're going to do this real fast. It's how I like to do it. <laughs> then this is, I'll save that. This is my webcam. JavaScript file. Then if I refresh, nothing shows up. Okay. So now let's get into this. What we can do is start this off. So what I want to do is I want to attach this on load. So create my class. Okay. And you've probably done this a lot before. If you don't understand this, it's okay. That's all you need to do. And um, we'll talk about this in the future. So what I want to do is get the user media, right? And depending on browsers and all of that, I may get WebKit get user media and the same thing so then I don't have to keep doing a bunch of ifs and that sort of thing so then next thing I can do is say uh oh you didn't tell me I spelled it wrong navigator get media Let's see. Okay. So when it loads, this is what's going to happen. These are my constraints. Let me just tell you that. Video, true, audio. I don't want to capture audio. Bam. Simple, right? Mm, so then. My function, I'm gonna start streaming. I'm gonna get the stream, okay? And <laughs> what you will see is, so what I could do here, I could get it by ID, but I'll just get it by tag on this go round because I should have only one video tag. So it's gonna be, yeah. The first one, index, and the source I'm setting here. And I'm passing it stream. Really easy. And so you can see it once I get the stream from Git Media, of course play then I can handle error if I want hmm let's just do that because I may mess up I'll just print the error and then I need my button to work right um so I'll add an event listener this time by ID and we named it capture I'm typing really hard 
I like those keyboards that actually click. I don't like those quiet keyboards because I actually learned to type on a typewriter. So I just like the feel of a typewriter. And then take snapshot. It's going to be the name of our function. So then what I could do, um, okay, that looks attached. Then we can come down. Oh, you didn't tell me you couldn't see this. You saw most of it. I just did the error. Okay. So, handle the error. Now I need take snapshot. Let's scroll this up for you. Okay. First I'll just do this and then we'll see what's going on with our with our actual web app. I have an error. Line six. Oh, I already half mine. Okay. Here's the problem right here. Do you see that? Right here. I hope so. And I misspelled the word navigator. 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 Now I'm moving too fast. Get element by tag name. Hey, there I go. Finally, okay? So now all we have to do is our function for taking the snapshot. So as you can see, I have this hidden canvas, right? Should I call it canvas or hidden canvas? Maybe canvas will work, we'll try it. Mm, yeah, get element by ugh, by ID. Do you remember the ID? I believe it's canvas. And I and D is not capitalized, is it? And I believe I called this player. Okay. And this is our output. Then we need to check the size. Pretty interesting. Okay, don't forget your semicolons. My computer is working really hard right now. Now what we have to do is get these contents the context object of the canvas and that's how we do that then we can set the width of that to this width of the video and we can set the height the same way then what we're going to do is we're going to um, then what we're going to do is draw that image to the canvas from the video.
our location, right? So X, Y, and then the size. Then we want our image from the canvas. So when we, if you notice the, um, the source of the image, it'll be base 64, it'll be base 64 data. And we have a nice little function to do it for us automatically, which is really nice. To data URL. PNG, I guess. Then one more thing. Let's do this. We have to put the data into our image source. Attribute source image data URL. Now, it looks like this is going to work, but we're going to see. If you were following along and doing this, then you probably know if it works or not. Then I'll hit it. Okay, looks pretty good. That is how you get a webcam stream into a browser and how you take a snapshot of that. So you also may have noticed that if you, um, if you request this permission for access to the webcam, it's gonna pop up and ask, ask the user. And if we go here and we see this, it may ask for audio as well. So if you put this to true, then it could do audio. And what we're gonna do in a future video is come back and actually do some audio so make sure you subscribe but one more thing that you can do before we leave is simply right click and I don't think you can see this on your screen but you can see it in this actual video if you look on my monitor here and you can go to save as and actually save this picture if you wanted to So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you share this video to anyone who you may think may like it. Um, make sure you subscribe. I really appreciate that. And we'll be back talking about more technology.